Hi everyone, welcome back to Tara's Take. So in today's video, I wanted to um, do some art journaling and collaging and kind of create another page that would go with this page. Um, I did this one yesterday and I posted a video and had a really good response from some of you and um, so I thought you might like to see what I did to get uh, certain aspects of it. So I was looking over here really quick because I wanted to uh, choose, <coughs> pardon me, I wanted to choose a background page that I would use like I did with the first page. And what I used on this one, and what I'm talking about is this paper. Um, I used it on uh, Mass Monday, and I really liked having um, that background be like a focal point throughout, like, you know, everywhere you see a spot of it, you know, and I think that that kind of brought everything else together. Um, I focused really hard on not mixing and matching. I mean, you know, I really wanted it to be kind of a free type of, um, a free type of creation there that, I don't know, just wasn't mixy match, you know, matchy matchy, I guess. Um, what I'm doing right now, for anybody who doesn't know, I'm going to go ahead and seal off the center here of my page with some masking tape just to kind of give it um, some protection because, of course, if it gets too wet, it becomes rather weak and can pull out of this book. This book cannot handle that, and I've had the pages just rip out before, but since I did this there yesterday, it, it looks just fine, and, you know, of course, many of you know that that's a typical way to handle that issue. So let me grab my... Where is it? I've got my little brush here somewhere that I like to use. I had out all my brushes earlier. I've been painting today. Here it is. Okay. I like this brush. It is just a cheap, cheap Walmart brush, but it's soft and it just kind of puts the, um, the matte, the matte medium on the page really well. Okay. So what I did on this one, I used down the center a lot of my washi tape and I kind of scattered the washi tape throughout. You can't really, unless you look at it, you can't really tell exactly where it's at, but it's there. And I wanted to do the same thing with this one. Uh, I'm going to use a more neutral page to be my backdrop that's going to be focal point on this one. And I like this one. I think it's pretty cool. So I can kind of go anywhere I want with that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay down some mass or some matte gel. Now I just got matte gel. It was on sale at Hobby Lobby this past weekend when I was there. So I had before this, I had the acrylic and I have to say, I like the way the matte gel looks once it's dry, but it takes it a lot longer to dry. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that, but that is my experience. Um, my acrylic matte medium it is really fast it it dries pretty quick this took a minute so i was you know getting used to that but i absolutely love how it looks after it's dry it's much cleaner it doesn't sit on top <clears throat> it kind of just blends right into your picture you know and i really like that so yeah um let me see i'm gonna use that one i'm gonna use let me use another one. I'm using Tim Holtz right now. His mask or his uh, washi tape. I just love it. I don't trust the washi tape to stay down on its own, of course. So I am laying out a little bit of the medium first. So I hope everybody's having a good week. Let's see, this is going to be posted on, 
I'm, I'm trying to remember because I've got, okay, I've got Thursdays. So this should be Saturday's video. Um, I have had, today is actually, for me, it's Tuesday of last week, okay? So January 24th is the day it is that I'm recording this video. Um, I have had quite a day and it's just been kind of, I, I needed to come on here and just create something and, you know, kind of enjoy myself a little bit because I've had a day that has not been all that enjoyable. And so, yeah, so anyway, I'm glad to be on here with my friends, my girls. I miss you guys when I don't hang out with you. So I'm just randomly doing this. No rhyme or reason right now. I have, um, I have no idea where it's going to end up looking, what, what it's going to end up looking like, but I have kind of a pattern of what I want to do. So I'm, I'm aiming to do pretty much the same thing I did in the other one, um, but with just different, you know, effects a little bit. Oh, I should have put that down first. I noticed with the washi, I didn't have to put a ton of the matte medium because it kind of doesn't want to stick to that because it's got, of course, the mucilage on the back where it's supposed to stick down by itself. But as I said before, I completely do not trust it to stick down by itself. <laughs> so I'm making it, I'm kind of making it um, obey me and, you know, utilize. I'm just doing that so it shuts because it's got that center part that's See, it's staying up right there. So you kind of have to push it down when you're hitting that middle part because it's wanting to raise up. Okay. Yeah, I got the, I think I told you guys already, but I got the the matte gel on Saturday. I was so excited because it was on sale. And I've been wanting to get it, but I'm just too cheap to pay full price for it when I already had the acrylic mat. And that's the only reason. Not that I <laughs> that I minded paying full price for it if I didn't have any, but yeah. But because I did, I was like, oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that, you know. So I'm gonna, let's see. I'm going to put this one sideways, it's funny, I'm going to get rid of, I don't like that core, the white, I just don't like it. Like I said, I don't know exactly how this is going to end up looking, but I do know that I want to do um, like a pattern. It's not necessarily going to look exactly like the one I did yesterday, of course, because I'm going to use different pieces, but the pattern I'm going about, I know worked for me yesterday, so I'm going to stick with that. I am going to get a piece of paper to go between here. On both sides because I don't want <clears throat> I don't want it to go over the matte medium. I don't want it to go over onto the other page. So okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put down some of these pieces into the corners. I'm not also, you'll probably notice if you know me at all, you'll probably go, whoa, Tara's not distressing anything. Um, and I'm not. You're not imagining that. I am kind of letting this get distressed at the end with whatever I decide to use on it. So, yeah. Okay. 
So I downloaded a another video editing program that I think I'm going to like and I'm going to attempt to teach myself how to use it better. Um, I was using the one on my computer and I found out they only let me use it one time because it's like <clears throat> you do pay for it for the premium and if you want to actually get to save your work or back it up or anything you have to have the premium and the other thing I noticed was the first time I ran a video through it it ran just fine took it through to YouTube and it was great and I thought oh great you know well the next every every other time after that it stopped working and it would say oh uh, you know I won't say the name of the program but it's you know it's not launching uh, or it's no longer running it's not you know and I think that's on purpose so that you have to pay their monthly fee. And they don't have it set up so that you can purchase the program. You have to pay a monthly fee, which is $12 a month. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> and so I went on to, you know, my Microsoft um, store. And I found one that is free. Um, and it doesn't have like, oh, buy it, you know, monthly and will let you have premium it actually seems to be free I've uploaded two videos now with it and it's done fine so yeah I'm really excited about that <laughs> so yeah so we never know maybe 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 Tara will start editing a few things and having some fun you know uh, making things look kind of cool we'll see we'll see I know there are those of you who don't want me to edit you like it that I don't edit and I'm not gonna be like fast forwarding everything and you know and I'm, I'm not that type of editor um but i'm talking about more like being able to possibly be a little more professional about my videos and stuff so we'll see we'll see i always have liked that like the people that don't edit their their workout um because i like long videos and i like it when people chat i like when you know, that's what I like. I go to those other videos, but I got to be honest, I don't visit them as often as I go to Tina every day. You know, I go to her for her her camaraderie. I go to her a lot because I love the way she is on her videos. And so, yeah, so that's one of the reasons I'm like I am, because that's what I really liked about her. And I like that about Gail. I, you know, I like it about Pam and, um, yeah. So I do go and, and see Natasha and I, and I love her. I think she's amazing. I go see Shauna and Shanuki Art and Patricia and, and, um, Sean Pettit and do it. Now Sean is, she's great. She, she does talk. She, she fast forwards too, but she talks a lot and, and visits with us too, you know. But yeah, but I just think it's really fun to have somebody on there who who takes you through the whole thing. And so even if I'm editing my videos somewhat, I'm never going to edit them like some people do. <laughs> just because I, I won't. I know me. So. So what I'm doing, honestly, if anybody wonders if I'm trying to pick any particular thing, I'm kind of staying in the neutrals with some blues and, and stuff probably. But other than that, there's not really any rhyme or reason. I am literally not thinking about what I'm putting on here much. I am trying really hard to just grab and go like I did yesterday because it honestly, my work turns out so pretty when I do that and I like it better because it's a lot less stressful and right now with everything going on uh, for me I need less stress um, I have not shared with you guys what's going on and it is pertaining to my grandson and so uh, oh come on now and so yeah I'm just I'm really praying and I will be sharing it with you guys eventually I may have already shared it with you on Monday's video mass make video I don't know I haven't made the video yet so <clears throat> if I'm repeating myself or if I'm talking about something you already know about, I apologize. Um, I'm sure you guys understand. I, I record these out of order, at least that one. I record everything else pretty much in order, but my mask make is out of order. So <clears throat> anyway, so I'm just 
just pray for me. Just keep praying for me, okay, about this. Because um, whatever I have told you thus far, just, just know that I need your prayers and covering, okay? As my friends, my sisters in Christ, I appreciate you so much. Okay. Um, I do believe... Uh, I don't want it there because that's too neutrally dark. I don't want to, I want to put something a little more blue there. This is a little easier today than it was yesterday. Yesterday I was kind of debating because I didn't really know uh, what I wanted down. But today I'm kind of like, okay, I'm a little more uh, secure in what I want to put down here. So I'm kind of leaving. I didn't do it on this corner and I wish I had it because it's kind of lifting right here. And I knew it might. See right here, because I didn't get enough of, so I have to come in and do this, which sucks. I didn't want to do that. Um, yeah. So my advice, if you are doing this, leave yourself a tiny little gap between the edge of your page. Um, you can always bring something back in over that and cover it later, or you can cover it with, you know, your black uh, edging, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be um, right to the edge. I'm thinking that I'm going to keep that in mind from now on because it is easier to get this to stay down if you've got a little bit of your edge there that you can use the matte medium on, okay? So yeah. Now I definitely want to put some more of these words, I really like these words. Um, let's see, what are we going to use? Achieve, recognition, admire. I like clarity for one thing. Excellence is kind of water damaged. I guess it wouldn't matter. I'm going to be doing stuff over the top of this anyway. Clarity, <clears throat> wisdom, commitment. I picked these up. Courage. I like that. Those three are going to be the ones I think I use. Yeah. I'm going to do courage right here um these were a kit from a kit i got out of etsy i don't know which kit i don't know which seller i honestly i have no idea um it was probably one of those i don't you know you've got the ones you go to like all the time and you've got the ones you don't go to all the time this was probably from one that i don't go to every day you know well not every day but you know what i'm saying <laughs> i don't go to every time there are certain people I check all the time to see if they have anything new or if I like what they've got or whatever. And Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do clarity right here. And then I'm going to put commitment down here. I like them being odd numbers. I like, like, you know, the rule about the odd numbers. And I like them being offset, going different directions. The vertical and the horizontal, I think, always is eye-catching and um, pleasing. It's, too, it's pleasing to the eye when you look at the composition of the whole piece. Um, yeah. All I have here, if you guys are wondering, I'm just pulling from this little box. I'm Like I said before, I'm really not even dwelling on what I'm pulling out. I'm just pulling out and getting things on the page um, because the whole collaging experience for me is relaxing to me and the more, the less I think about what I'm laying down, the better for me. So I like that feeling of not being focused constantly on what exactly it is I'm doing. Okay. If you guys um, decide to do this with me, let me know and let me see it on our Facebook group. Um, oh, by the way, I'm gonna start, I think, 
I may have already done it on Monday. I think I'm going to start announcing, like I said, you guys may already know about this. Um, again, I'm recording this before I record Mass Monday, <laughs> so I'm mentioning it just in case I forget. I am going to start letting the people on the channel know what our challenge is. So if you guys want to do the challenge, you don't have to be a member of the Facebook group. You can join in. And you can always just let me know in the comments that you joined in and that you made something, you know. Okay. So I just thought that would be fun to make sure that everybody that's a part of Tara's Take Family gets to be a part of our challenge. What we do on our Facebook group, guys, if you don't know, is we have a weekly challenge where my husband chooses, he draws from a bowl of prompts that I have written down. Um, it's a big old, you know, it's a small bowl, but it's like a bunch of different prompts. And whatever he chooses that week is what we do. And then I announce it on Monday mornings on our Facebook group that this is our something with or something you know, blue, something steampunk, something, you know, and it's, it's our something challenge. The reason I called it that is because I really, I wanted it to be, um, different every week. I didn't want us to be tied down to one subject. I wanted it to be something that I had never seen anybody else do on their channel or on their, you know, group so that I'm not like doing the same exact thing as another, uh, you know, a Facebook group is doing because there's a lot of people who do challenges because everybody loves them and they're fun and yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I like this one too. Remember, that one looks very, I don't know, just looks like it belongs here for me. Remember, it's going to go right here. Okay. One thing I was doing yesterday, and I'm going to do it again today, is when I get to these areas where I have um, edging or that's not quite fitting in with other spots, I'm going to be using my washi tape to fill in the gaps. So I am absolutely in love with that package of washi tape that I got at Hobby Lobby a few weeks ago that I showed you in the haul. Uh, I love it. So yeah, I'm using that. And I'm using some of some of our Tina's little labels. Oops, I don't want it right on top of the other one. These are fun, you know. They always look kind of cute. They're a great filler. They always make me feel like I'm in the UK. <laughs> and they remind me of Miss Tina. So I wrote her a personal email today, and I don't ever do that, but I was watching her mass make, which I'm sure a lot of you were today, or um, for Monday, or for Tuesday of last week, and she was mentioning stuff going on with her and her ex-husband and the divorce and stuff, and then she was apologizing for talking about it, and so I wrote her a note um, on her website. I didn't do it in the comments, and I just told her, you know, we, we know that you're human. We love you, and the reason that you have such a, an audience that you do is because we appreciate the fact that you're real and that you're human in front of us. We feel like we can trust you and that you're a person, you know, you're not just a crafter like these other people who they're wonderful, but there's this personal connection and please don't ever feel like you have to apologize to this group of women because we are with you a hundred percent. We understand and we're with you. Many of us have gone through the same thing or are going through things and your honesty helps. So I just encouraged her because she's so, she's, you know, she's so precious and she honestly doesn't want, she's like, this really isn't the, you know, the place for me to talk about this. And it's like, well, it's okay. We expect you to be real. We expect you to be Tina, you know, any of us who've been, you know, with you for a minute know who you are and appreciate that. So, yeah. I know that many of you have been with her for even longer than I have. I've been with her almost two years and I love her and I care about her and I don't, I care about her kids and what happens to her. I pray for her all the time and I told her so, you know, so encourage Tina if you get a chance, if you see her and you hear 
<clears throat> talking, you know, encourage her to continue to be who she is because, you know, that's one of the reasons that people love her. So, okay. you guys always encourage me and uh, to be real with you. So, I, you know, I told her I knew exactly what she meant, but that's not that's not how we feel as an audience. You know, we love that she's real. I know I do. I've always appreciated that about her. And, um, it's one of the reasons I formatted my channel the way I did because I realized how much I enjoyed her humility and, and her, you know, attitude and, and how she was with people and how she is about her family and about what she's going through. You know, I really, really respected that right from the beginning. And I was impressed by it because so many people... And I understand that that's just not what their channel is about, and that's fine. But she was okay with being, you know, she, I remember the video where she updated people, and she was like, I, I can't keep getting on here and acting like everything's okay when everything is not okay, <laughs> you know? And she was like, I'm pretending, and it's not okay. And I at least need you guys to know the truth. And she told everyone about the divorce, you know, what she was experiencing, and that her husband had left, and. I remember being like, wow, that was really brave, you know, that was really brave. And I think everybody else was like that too, um, you know, that they were, everyone was commenting and was very supportive. And I was so glad to see that she had such a wonderful group of people who follow her and, you know, oh, we're putting this one on here. Answered prayer. I like that. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. Let's see. Let's sit him right there. Now, once I get down to where I am kind of like, like these little spots, that's where I'm going to start. That's when I'm going to pull in my, um, oh, I like this little guy too. That's when I'm going to pull in some of uh, my washi tape. You'll see here in just a minute because it's coming. I'm, I'm about there. I would say. I'm also going to bring in some more of the pieces that I was talking about to go with and kind of, you know, bring together the composition on each section of the page centered around these colors. Just like yesterday's was centered around the green, you know. So I really, I really like that possible I should have done this on a different page and not right directly behind that one but we'll see okay so I had taken these out I don't want to cover like commitment so let's see here mm. yeah I'm gonna put that right there Should I bring it down and not cover the remember? There we go. Yeah, this stuff dries. If you haven't tried the gel, I was like, what's the difference, you know, in using it? And I was really excited to get it. And now that I see the difference in the drying and what it looks like, it really does look a lot cleaner than the acrylic matte medium. The acrylic matte medium works faster, though. So if you're looking... For a quicker drying experience, I think you'll find that one works better for that. But if you're looking for a smoother, more subtle appearance of, you know, the actual, um, of the actual, I'm going to tear this down just a little bit more, medium, then I think you would want to go with the gel. What I'm doing is I don't want to cover these words, so I'm going to, and I, I don't want this touching this. I want it to be away from it, but still, you know, bring it into the picture. So I was making sure this was torn down enough to kind of curve around the C. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. All right, there's that. Now, let me see. I like these and I don't really want them as a tag, but I want what it says. It says, praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty heavens. Yeah, and today I also, um, you know, my, I don't know if I told you guys, I think I told you that my aunt, uh, by marriage passed away this, this last week. And my cousin, uh, I have three cousins that her and my uncle had my cousin, Tony and her sister, Lindsay and brother, Brian. And I don't really know Brian and Lindsay all that well, but I, I know Tony, I was raised with her and my uncle and aunt got divorced when we were young, younger, but, um, I always, you know, loved my aunt and she passed away. So I received a message from my cousin today saying, do you want to come to the funeral via Zoom? Isn't that insane that we can do that nowadays? I mean, it's awesome. It's an awesome, insane. I'm really, it's, it's amazing. And I said, yeah, but then I also have a friend, my, my childhood friend or teenage friend, Chris, her mother passed away. Um, unfortunately a couple weeks ago and they're having their, her funeral on Saturday as well. So I recorded Amazing Grace. Um, I downloaded a, a recording voice app to my phone and I sang Amazing Grace because Chris had said, if you can't come, can you at least do a song for mom and then send it to me and it'll be like you're there because then that way you can, I'll play it, you know, in the service. And it'll be like you're with us. And so, yeah, so I did that today. Uh, sang Amazing Grace in my bathroom. <laughs> and recorded it and sent that to her for the funeral. So, um, that was kind of emotional and difficult. Um, I hadn't seen Pat in a while. But she was one of those moms when you're a teenager or a kid that you call her mom. She was Mama Pat. I mean, she was one of those moms for me. Um... Yeah, so she's she was a wonderful, precious lady and loved her a lot. Uh, and I love her family, and I'm sure that it's going to be very hard for them, you know, on Saturday. My cousin, she can't be at her mom's funeral, I don't think. I, I don't know if she's flying back. She lives, right now she's living in Japan with her brother, or I mean her son. They're working there. Um... So I'm not sure. I'm sure she'll be flying back for the funeral. But yeah, she offered to send me the the service so I could be there on Zoom. That is insane to me that we can do Zoom on funerals now, right? I mean, it just, it's awesome, but it's just so amazing to me. I don't know if it's amazing to everybody else, but it is to me. I think I'm going to add this in again. I did it on the other one and I really liked it. It just says believe across it, you know. But I just think it was really pretty. And I don't know where I want to put it. How about right here? I believe. I believe, I believe. So, <laughs> if you don't know what that's from, that's from Fun with Dick and Jane. Uh, what's his face? <laughs> what's his name? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, yeah. So this one's blue. Let me see here. I also, I want to use, oh, I have some script. I'm going to use some of these smaller pieces, that, the tapes that are just really skinny to go along, like, I want to do that up here at the top. Um, just run that along there, and I'm not measuring because I don't want to. I want it to kind of be organic and just land where it lands kind of thing. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just coming in and covering these edges. Okay. So that we've got some look of, there we go. And let's see, I know I have some super skinny pieces. This one and what else do I have here? I don't like that one. 
this one's green, which is pretty cool, actually. Oh, allow to bloom. Allow your mind to bloom. That's a good one, right? Let's use that one. That's nice. I like that. Allow your mind to bloom. Amen. I can use that. Now, this is coming up. Again, like I said, make sure that you get your that you let yourself have some of that edge because otherwise you're going to have it raising up like it is for me. Okay. And I'm just going to tear this off and go to the allow your mind to bloom. I'm just taking it off. Yeah. In fact, I think I'll tear it one more time. Okay. I'll put that here. I've sure been using a lot of uh, washi tape, huh? <laughs> a lot more than I was. Feels like I am. Oops. I want that straight. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I tend to don't do a lot of slants unless it's words across a page. I tend to be like vertical, horizontal, vertical, <laughs> vertical, horizontal, yeah, or vertical, horizontal, <laughs> because... I like it better. Um, I don't know. I just do. I'm going to do a piece right here of this one. Again, the, the Tim Holtz. To kind of bring uh, what I have over here into the picture somewhere else. So it makes it, you know, what's that word? Cohesive. I always forget that word. I try to remember it, but I tend to be like, what's that word again? Now, what does this one say? Enjoy the little things. Oh, that's nice. Enjoy the little things. Enjoy the little things. I like that. We're going to bring that along this bottom and see if we might be able to get it all the way. Let's see. Yep. I think we will in that curve. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to put, hmm. I'm just over here in my little box looking to see what other tapes I have because I like them being a part of this and okay I think they're kind of fun So it's Saturday. What are you guys up to? Anybody doing anything fun today or tonight? Or are you just like me and you're kind of boring? <laughs> well, for this Saturday, though, I've got... Oh, yeah. When you guys see this, I will also have... Uh, I will be going out to lunch that day with my niece that I went to the baby shower for a couple weeks ago. Well... Technically, for me, it was this past Saturday, but you know, I'm ahead. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to be going and we're going to take her and her fiance, Troy, out to lunch for Mexican food. And we are going to discuss the service for the wedding. So, so, so fun. I can't wait. That's um, it's very, very cool. Now, where did I put the one with the. Ah! I was going to do one more of the Believe down this side. So let me get a little bit more. And then we're going to let this dry. I'm going to pause you guys for a sec. Well, it'll be a little bit more in a sec because this stuff takes a minute to dry. But I'm going to pause you guys. And then I will be back. And we will go ahead. And it's pretty simple. The rest of the process I did on the other one. And I didn't get crazy with paint and 
all that. I did splatters with white paint, but um, I just kind of went over it, highlighted areas I wanted to be darker. I uh, used my chubby woody pencil, you know, and um, came back in and made it stand out. And then um, it was super, actually super simple what I do to it. But it it looks cool when it's done. I think it looked cool, and so did some of you. Praise God. Thank you <laughs> for commenting um, and letting me know what you thought, because that matters to me. I think I'm going to use this one because the flowers kind of match, and I'm just going to put a piece of this below this little guy. Yeah, because the flowers go, and then we've got the flowers here, and uh, yeah, looks kind of cool. And then I'm going to do... One more little piece, patching right here. Okay, I think I've got one piece here I need. I'm, I'm kind of covering every area. I wasn't going to yesterday, and then I ended up doing it, and I'm glad I did, because um, it looked cool. So, yeah. I'm not going to worry about this spot right here that's up above that. I am going to do a piece right here that will go, yeah. And then this is actually tape here. Um, let's see. Hmm. I have one little spot down here I think I'll cover for fun. right here but I don't want it to look even I'm bringing it down on purpose I want it to be noticeable that it's patched I think it looks cute and random I like the randomness so yeah I kind of feel like this tape isn't quite like it's not dark enough so it doesn't have enough uh, difference in it to really look like there's anything there it almost looks like it's too close to the color so I'm thinking I love this script one so I'm wondering if I should run yeah I think I'll do that and I'm not gonna put it over onto the well I could put it onto the crevice there yeah okay I will and then I'm gonna do this one no wait I think I'll do one more of the wider. Let's do this guy. This one's really pretty and I haven't used it. I'll go like this. There we go. I like that. Okay, so we'll put this down. Okay. And this. And now we are finished with the collage portion. I'll be back. I'm going to let this dry. Okay, guys, I'm back. So we're all dry, and as you can see, what I was talking about was this is so nice and smooth. I mean, and it's super soft, and I was going to show you guys because I forgot. This is the matte gel I'm using. It's Master's Touch. I got it at Hobby Lobby, okay? Master's Touch. So seems to be like their store brand. <laughs> um but it works great and it didn't take that long when I put my heat tool to it to dry so yeah anyway okay so I'm gonna get out my woody pencil and I did want to try something before I do the black just to see um I don't know let me see here I was thinking hmm. No, I think I'm still going to use the the black. Um, so what I did with this one was I kind of went around under some of the main uh, pieces. This is a little bit wet. The paper, the water went through. Just now noticing that. I can feel it. So next time I will not go right on top of something like that. So what I did yesterday was... I got a little adventurous and because <laughs> I think I mentioned to you guys that I really don't know 
exactly where I should put my uh, my highlights and stuff, you know, I kind of get a little nervous about that. But yesterday I kind of ventured, ventured out and I just came in kind of underneath some of the main um, pieces and did some black. And like I said earlier, this was not a difficult uh, layout, but it was fun to just kind of play and, um, you know, just kind of going around. And the other thing I did, which you guys are probably going to, I'm going to put a little bit right here. You guys are probably going to laugh because, but it's true. I actually used for this project, if I have it right here, I hope, I hope it should be right here. Where is it? Let's see. Um, it's a makeup brush that you all will recognize. Where did I put it? <laughs> I know it's here. Shoot. I got to pull out my, my brushes to see where it's at here. Cause it's a double ended one and here it is. <laughs> so what I did was I used, I was using my slant. I was using this slanted end to kind of go along here with some water. And then I decided to try using this part of my eyebrow brush, which we used to also use these to clear like the mascara on our eyelashes. Um, and yeah, I ended up, that's what I got, how I got like the black streaking through and the cloudy look, you know, I used this. So just a little fun tidbit of information there if you guys were wondering at all um yeah i'm feeling the wetness now that went through the page to this side it's just a little bit moist still but this is dry i mean it's not moving or anything and i'm only going to be using like the tiniest bit you know but i am going to go around the edges i should use those papers. I actually threw them away. My papers I had on the edges of this. I don't want this to. So I'm going to pull those back out and put them there to protect this again. <clears throat> I get overzealous and excited about certain aspects of what I'm doing and I, I, I don't, you know, follow like my own, uh, I don't follow the pattern that you should follow always, so you'll have to forgive me, please. So I'm just going along and edging with the black as well. I'm just getting that out of the way because then I'm going to use my paintbrush um, and I'm going to go around all of this. And you guys have seen me do this before and you've seen others do it, I'm sure. This is just my way of doing it faster. It gives me a an edge to go along and, and uh, leverage against, you know. It's letting me use the edge of the book cover. Oopsie, that was a mistake. Didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. We'll work it out. It'll come together in its own way. I don't know if you have the fat woodies, but um, they, it's really kind of cool because you can go along the edge and kind of go flat on that surface and hit your edge pretty good, you know. Now this is black anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, well, maybe just a little bit. It does add to it. It's a little darker. Okay. So, I'm not going to do the mascara brush yet. I'm just going to quickly go... Uh, grab my little brush that I always use and I've got some water right here so I'm just going to tap into that and I'm pushing some of it off and all I did was what you guys have seen me do a bunch of times which is just kind of skid across and I just brought you know a little bit of water to it and 
my brush is starting to get messed up. It's getting old on me. I use it so often. I think that's why I was using the other one. Now there's one thing about, I'm going to try it again with this one and see how it does on this. Um, I think it works pretty good. One thing about the picture that you couldn't really see in the video on, on the Facebook video I did or the Instagram, you can't really see, but it's got, this has a, um, you can see it here, the sheen. And it kind of connects throughout, but it's not everywhere. We're going to do that. And the way I did that was with, let me grab it here. This is the Art Alchemy Opal Magic Wax in Vintage Silk. Okay. And I did get this on, um, I'm not sure if I got this on Amazon. I think I got it in Etsy, but I know it's in Amazon. I will pull up a link and put it in the video for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's where I got that. And I really, really love that stuff. It, it smells amazing, first of all. <clears throat> it's got the prettiest smell. But um, it just adds such a gorgeous sheen to everything. And I'm just kind of dragging. Can you guys see okay? I'm just kind of dragging my, my brush along and just kind of lightning and you know s skidding basically um, making like little and just making it connect to the bottom there and shadow I'm just bringing shadow to darker shadow and then the other thing I did in this is I kind of grabbed the pencil and drew it down a little bit so that it and then I rubbed so it kind of just And this actually works pretty good once you use the uh, mascara brush and go over it. It just, I don't know, it kind of added something to it that was kind of cool. I'm not, I don't want the brush to be wet. I just want it to be very, very damp, just barely damp. Because if it's too wet, you, of course, are going to get like a flooded page, like with a watercolor. And you don't want that. At least, I mean, I don't want that. <clears throat> and so, as you can see, I'm just going along all of these and bringing that highlight down. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wet a paper towel here real quick. Sorry, just bear with me so that I can just kind of dip my brush into it without dipping it directly into water. And see how that works. See if that works better for me. Yeah. There we go. And it's kind of the same motion I do when I when I make like a, under an area where I want the person to be standing on. You know, the paper dolls. It's the same technique I'm using. I don't know if I'd call it a technique. It's my technique. It's how I do it. I'm just kind of going to draw that down and then wipe. And because and, I don't. I don't want it to be standing out. I just want it to be kind of, you can tell that it's there, but not super dark. I hope I'm making sense. <clears throat> there are a lot of people out there who explain these things a lot better than me. And I'm sorry, I'm learning terminology. I'm learning you guys. You're learning with me, or some of you can teach me. <laughs> Seriously, there are some of you that post things or you, you make comments or you give me, you know, hints and stuff. And I'm like, why aren't you doing videos? Honestly, why, why, why aren't you teaching? You're amazing. I'm more getting on here and playing and bringing you guys along. <laughs> There's a few things I've taught, but most of the time it's just me playing and going, okay, well, you guys can play with me. <laughs> That's how I feel. Get yeah, my girls come play with me and hang out with me at my house. And, you know, we'll craft together. And, and see, like, I don't want it going swish, swish, swish. So I'm coming back over it with my finger wet. And I'm just kind of rubbing that out. I, I want it to kind of look like the black is splashing down. But I don't want it 
to look like I swished it, you know. Does that make sense? I hope so. I want it to be kind of messy and smoky looking. You know? It's like a good smoky eye on the eyeshadow, you know. And I've literally just got a wet paper towel over here because that I'm finding is working a lot better for me to utilize the, um, okay. So now I'm going to go around the edges and do the fun part to me. These page, that page edge. I love doing this part. I think it looks so cool. <clears throat> And then the funnest part is at the end when we get to when we get to bring it all together with some splatters. <laughs> you know I love my my paint splatters. Okay. I hear my neighbor outside. Now this, I'm just going to kind of bring it along and hopefully I'll, I'll blend it, you know, enough that it'll kind of just disappear. I'm trying. Now there were a couple of you who had mentioned that I should do this and make make a digi kit. So I'm thinking I might try to do that, make another collage digi kit, but make it like a art journal, you know, collage. My other one, as a lot of you probably know in my shop is the ladies and you know the straight edge and the, the torn edge and the different color schemes. But uh, this would be this would be a fun fun one to put together. Okay, so there's the edges. Now, um, what I want to do here is take this, and what I did was I got it wet, and then I kind of dried it off. Okay, and then I took the woody pencil and ran it along here. Okay. And then kind of put it into my napkin again because I don't want it to come off a lot. And then I just kind of skidded along. And you have to kind of go light because it can, you know, it can end up getting too dark real fast. And I just liked the scratched black across the surface of everything. It just looked, made it look grungy, um, but not, I don't know. Just, I like it. I like it. I hope you do too. See, that's a little too much. So I'm just coming in with my finger and wiping it down a little bit. I just have a little too much water still on my brush. So keep your paper towel or your napkin nearby so you can kind of wipe it off. This little brush holds more than you'd think. I thought it was a fun way to um, upcycle my, my mascara or eyebrow brush that I never use because I have horrible eyebrows. <laughs> So I was like, oh, that's a good way to use it. And see, it's just giving it a grungy kind of um, scratched across the surface black. Like, you know, I don't know. 
just looks old and nothing's super defined which is good we'll wet it down again and dry it off again okay wipe like I said when it's too much water just run your finger across it kind of give the the lines you know smooth them out just enough to where they're just kind of blended in here's that area that I screwed up earlier so hope you guys like this I I really had fun making these um, the last couple days so yeah I'm probably gonna do them again and maybe do the digi kit like you had suggested Sagita and Vanessa because yeah it'd be kind of fun to have you know me I love different stuff in my shop I don't know if you've noticed but I've got stuff that kind of goes all over the place from one subject to another <laughs> See one more one more little round here. Make sure I've hit all the pertinent spots. Now what I'm gonna do is bring in my um and your finger will get very black. I'm gonna bring in my alchemy and wipe off my finger real quick. I don't wanna drag more black possible across there. All right. Now this you do not use very much at all. Okay. And you can use your finger. Um, if I'm remembering correctly yesterday, I did use my little brush and And all I did is just go in and barely grab any. I mean, this stuff, I've had this for over a year. And it'll last you forever. So what I want to do is kind of connect the whole picture and bring in, oh my gosh, that white. Look at that. It got all over right there. Shoot. Water. Bring in some more black. There we go. Now, I did not mean to drip water, so I'm going <laughs> to make sure this is dry before I lay that down. All right, so what I'm doing is just barely touching it, okay? And like I said, I just want everything to kind of connect. Um, you know how I go around and do the edges of my, uh, what is it called? When I do the gesso and, you know, you've seen a bunch of us do that. I didn't create that. I, of course, didn't even know about it until I watched someone else do it. But anyway, I'm just kind of doing the same thing with the edges of stuff, just connecting the pieces. So it's not covering everything. It's just kind of connecting all of the picture with this really beautiful gold sheen. And uh, I hope you guys can see. Can you see it? Let's see. So I'm not covering every area, just the edges and then kind of coming up and just drawing it. And you can, like I said, you can use your finger. I do kind of like using the brush because it gives me, and I don't think I'm going to take it like all the way into the center either. I might, I don't know yet, but I know I'm going to take it around the edges just bring that connection okay and as you can see I am barely putting anything on this I mean it's that's a lot actually I can put some of that back I mean you only need just the slightest amount and it goes a long way and then once you lay it down it does dry uh, thoroughly so it will dry for you and it won't come up but while it's wet you can move it so it's see 
I'm just bringing that connection to everything as much as possible. Okay. But do not want it covering all of it. And see how this, this is connecting now right here all the way down to the base. Just highlighting the lines between everything. Okay. Okay. And what I'll do, that was way too much. What I'll do is um, before I do the splatters on there, I will bring it up nearer the camera so I make sure you guys can see what I was talking about. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I have barely made a dent in this stuff. It's so, it goes so far. So let me show you here real quick, if you can see. Isn't that pretty? You should smell it. Oh my goodness, it smells like a dream. I see right here, I'm gonna rub in, and see it's still on my finger, so when I rubbed it, it came off and went onto that spot. So yeah, it's very nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab, um, I'm thinking if I wanna use black or if I wanna use white. I think I wanna use white again because I used uh, so much black in this to give it, you know, the look I want that yeah I'm gonna use white again and I'm just gonna take in one of my little bowls over here I bought these for $1.99 um, I think I bought them was it I can't remember if it's Hobby Lobby or Michaels and then I'm gonna put some water I'm just about out of water in my little bottle here I'm making it super thin um, and I'm going to grab my brush if I can find it. There it is. And just stir that up, my little fan brush. You guys know the drill, I'm sure. Now, I can get pretty sloppy with this, so I'm going to try and just do the best I can. But it tends to get everywhere. One thing I noticed, and I don't know if anybody's ever noticed this themselves, I'm sure you have. If you go this way, you get those little dots, but if you go sideways in your paint, now if your paint is the right consistency, mine's a little bit thin, so it's not doing it, but you get like that sling look, and I really like that. So yeah, I was doing that on something else the other day. Now the paint I'm doing it right now is too, it's too thin to really get that effect, but when I was using a thicker, uh, thicker mix. Yeah, it was pretty cool. These are just, it's just popping everywhere on me. So there's our white. I don't need that to be so thick right there. I'm going to just pull that before it has a chance to dry. Okay. All right. I will probably post this on Facebook, so it's more than likely you guys will have already seen it, but that's okay. So I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna let you guys take a closer look and pull this back slightly so you can see it. And let me know what you think. So there's our art journal page collage. I hope you enjoyed it today and I will see you guys. Uh, let's see, today's Saturday. I'll see you on Monday. 
Have a wonderful Sunday. God bless. Bye.